Good morning, this is Pastor Marvin Osborne with First Baptist Church of Birmingham, Ohio, and I hope you're well today. Now, this is the habit where I'm going to, I'm going to lose some of you. you would, most of you have agreed with the, um, that of studying God's Word, making church a priority. Some, most of you would say that, yes, we need to examine ourselves and get rid of sins. That's a lesson number two, but this lesson is going to be uh, the spiritual habit of giving, of giving, not only giving of your time, but also of your finances. And I'm a Baptist pastor. I believe in the tithe, not just because I'm a Baptist, because I believe it's Bible. I believe it's Bible. And you know, I have a question. If, if you don't believe in the tithe, let me ask you this. What percentage should you be giving to of, of your income, of your increase uh, to the Lord? If it's If it's not the tithe, then what is it? And are you giving it? Do you think it's 3%? Do you think it's 8%? If, do you think it's 15%? What is it? And are you giving it? Or is it you you kind of give the way you want? Whatever's in your wallet is, you know, at the after you paid your bills and after you paid this and after you've done that, you've been, to, you've been to the movies and you went out to dinner and everything else and you got $4 left and that's what you give uh, to, the, to the church and so forth. And that's the way a lot of people do. They just give... I'm going to give twenty dollars a week, and and no matter what, how God has blessed me, I'm going to give forty dollars. I'm going to give a hundred dollars a week, or whatever it is. Um, and I'm not sure that's biblical. That's an offering, and it's not a tithe. We're looking at, and I know again, I think that a lot of people are going to get upset by this, but that's all right. I wore my pastor shirt. I've heard your arguments before. And uh, and I people say, well, I can't afford to tithe, and I say you can't afford not to tithe. It's not an option. It's 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 not a matter of of an of it being optional. It's a matter of you being obedient. Do you believe God, the same God who who um, who saved you? Can you, is He not the same God who feeds you, who protects you, who provides for you? What is it about us that we, we don't believe God when it comes to money? Or we kind of think that uh, that's a made-up um, uh, teaching uh, by pastors in order to pay their salary. And I, I'm so thankful that I, I serve in a church that believes in the tithe. Uh, we, we are people are givers. And um, we don't, uh, everything we have within this these facilities and so forth they're all paid for because people give their ties we don't beg for money we don't do um we don't uh we do these videos without asking for money right we we don't sell trinkets and say you you know if you if you buy this three dollars three dollar item for fifty dollars and uh, we'll send it to you and we'll pray for you and all this stuff no no no. we do that for free because our people give they Pay for my salary. I'm not begging people to to um, to provide me extra money. This is this is God's house. God's people take care of God's house, and the same is true where you are as well. You should be taking care of God's man and God's house. We look at um, so even if you don't believe in the tithe, believe in what Jesus says here in Luke chapter six thirty eight. He says, "Give, and it shall be given to you." Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, shall men give into your bosom. For with the same measure that you meet with all, it shall be measured to you again. What's he saying here? If you're generous, God is going to be generous with you. And I'm sure that Jesus is, is saying that if you're not generous, if you're stingy, somehow you hold back, you know, you think that God deserves 7% instead of 10%. And I dare say it's probably not 7% if you don't believe in the tithe. It's more like 5% or just a, a general amount that, that, uh, that uh, that's the way God is going to measure back to us. And you say, well, pastor, I, have, I, I, I don't tithe, but I have, a, I have this great big house and I go on these trips and I do this and that. Let me ask you, is that the measure of blessing? Are things the measure of blessing? We don't find that in Scripture. Yes, God blesses certain men and certain women uh, with, with, uh, with, with tangible things, but isn't our 
true blessings found in Jesus Christ? Isn't our true blessings in, in the fact that we're giving so that people get saved? That the church continues to spread God's word? That we're doing something that God has given us the, the energy and the ability uh, to and the opportunity to, um, to, to work in order so that we can support the work of, of, God's, of God's people. And we sure we could go to Malachi and talk about robbing God and we can go through all these other things, but just for you New Testament Christians, the ones who believe that somehow God does not require the tithe, let me ask you this. What are you going to believe God for? You're going to believe God for 5%, 7%, or the 10%? The choice is yours. I think this is the one area in my life. You know what? I don't always think the way I should think. I don't always say what I what I need to say. I don't always do what I'm supposed to do. But there's one area in my life, one area in my life that I think I can control um, in, 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 in my obedience to God. And that's in my tithe, in my tithe, because it's so measurable. And I don't want to cheat God. And even, even if, and I believe it's biblical, even if it, is not, it, it turns out that it's not biblical, what have I lost? I'm investing my life. I'm investing my funds to reach people with the gospel of Jesus Christ. And because our people here give, now I have an opportunity to share God's word with you. And an amazing thing. If they didn't give, maybe I have to take a, another job or two. And I don't have opportunities to do this. You give so that other people can get. This is Pastor Marvin Osborne saying, God loves you and I love you as well. And I'll talk to you soon.